Hello everyone, welcome to Sources Classes. So in this video again, we will be continuing our discussion with respect to the question pertaining to the GI section of the paper. GI or General Intelligence section of the paper. So what we will be doing is basically we will take a look at a few questions in front of us and we will try and understand the ideal pattern towards the question and also the ideal approach towards solving the same as well. Okay. So what we will be doing is uh, we will take a look at all these questions in front of us. We will also try and understand how to go about solving the same so that whenever we come across this question further down the line in an examination, we are easily able to solve the same. So with all that said, if you talk about the GI section in general, as far as this year's examination is concerned, one thing you can say that this year the paper was more or less of uh, the kind of pattern of the paper and the kind of question we have seen are more or less of the previous year types, but just with a little bit more complexity. That is the question with a little bit more on the difficult side and trickier side in general. Okay, But then again, we will try and solve, uh, go about how to solve these things. So now let's focus on the question at hand. So 9 and 10. In the following questions, a series is given with one missing term. Choose the correct alternative from the which or from the given ones that will complete the series. So we have a series here. Let's start off with number 9 first. So we have D, K, Y. Uh, further we have F, J, W. We have H, I, U and we have J, H, S. Okay, so we need to observe a certain pattern. So if we go through the same, one thing you can see, D, E, F. It could have been E here and then followed by F, G, H, I, J. So K and L will be here. Okay, first one should be L. Again, J, K means minus 1. J, K, L, yes, the 1, 1. G, H, I, again, minus 1, because I, J, minus 1. H, I, minus 1, so H, minus 1, so it will be G. Okay? We are simply following the pattern. Okay? G. And now, W, W, X, Y, so minus 2, W, X, Y, okay. This is, uh, as far as y, y to this, minus 2. And U, V, W. So, W minus 2 again as T, U. So, again, minus 2 again. And here, again, uh, S minus 2. So, S minus 2 will be P, uh, I don't know, P, Q, R, S. Q, R, S, yes, minus 2. So, Q. L, G, Q. Option B is the answer. Okay, I hope this is clear. So, how we form the pattern of the same. So, basically, this particular pattern has been formed in everyone. Okay. And subsequently, we found out the series. Now, let's move on to number 10. We have 7, we have 8, we have 11, we have 16, we have 23. So, if you look at the uh, numbers here, the numbers, the difference is not so much. So, the operation, the ideal operation that we can go about here is plus minus operation. So, let's see. This is plus 1, plus 3, plus 5, plus 7. Okay. So, what should the next one be? should definitely be see odd, 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 odd and therefore plus 9. So, it should be 32. Okay. So, it should be 32. So, 32 will be the answer. Okay. Easy enough. Uh, this was again a very easy question. And now, finally, number 11. Let's take a look. So, we have select the correct combination of mathematical signs to replace the star sign and balance the equation. Okay. So, we have a certain equation 24. Uh, we have say um, instead of star, I am using a dash 34 dash 2 dash 5 dash 12. Okay, so now let's go one by one for each and every option. Let's first start off with option A. Okay, plus divide, multiply, and equal to. Okay, so the uh, pattern will be following is what was. 
so initially divide so this would give us 17 this would be 24 plus okay into 5 so this uh, 17 into 5 if we go if we go ahead and solve this so 17 into 5 that would basically it won't give us 12 it is definitely greater than 12 this value this comes up to 85 so 18 is 109 the answer so Option A is a wrong answer, wrong option. Let's get rid of that. Okay, now let's go with option B now. We have equal to, we have divide here, we have plus and minus. So this will be 17 plus 5 minus 12 22 minus 12 that is 10 which is not equal to 24 so again option B is again wrong ok now let's go with option C equal to divide it minus and plus 17 minus 5 plus 12 that is 12 plus 12 equal to 24 yes option c will be the right answer no need to check this one because only one operation will be working in this case so option c is the correct answer so with that said we have come to the end of the video so in, in case we have any doubt with respect to all the three questions that we have solved kindly go through the video multiple times and try and understand the concept that we have used to solving the same so that you can get a better understanding on how to go about solving these questions in general okay so in case you want a full detailed solution of the paper itself uh, pertaining to all the questions that we discussed in the examination be it your qa gie brc section as well feel free to connect with us so for that what you can do is basically go through the description section of the video wherein you find a bunch of details pertaining to kind of contacting us like our website URL, our email ID and also our numbers on which you can call text or WhatsApp us. Feel free to connect with us in case you have any kind of doubt with respect to any subject wise, doubt any topic wise, doubt your doubt with regards to your exam preparation or if you just need guidance in terms of your preparation as well, we'll be more than happy to help you out with those, okay? Feel free to connect with us. So with all that said and done, we've come to the end of the video. In case you like the video, make sure you like, share and subscribe to the channel. So that we can keep coming up with relevant content such as this further down the line as well. We'll be continuing discussion on the similar sort of questions in the subsequent video. So until then, I'll be winding up this video. I'm signing out. Thank you so much.